Welcome to Supervisor Series. In this episode, we'll show you how you can extend your platform's capabilities by deploying curated services, such as OCI Image Registry, in form of supervisor services. We will deploy Harbor Image Registry, create a project, and upload our container images, which we will use in next episodes to deploy applications. As Contour is a prerequisite for Harbor, we will install it first. To deploy our services, first we need to download the installation packages and sample data values files from the Supervisor Services GitHub repository. We will download latest Harbor version, sample data values, and we will do the same for Contour. Now let's look at these files. Supervisor Services are packaged using Carvel tools. Here we have a Contour YAML manifest which contains the package and package metadata. The second manifest defines data values, which can be modified to fit the environment requirements. For purposes of this demo, we will leave the contour configuration default in place. Next, we have a Harbor manifest with package and package metadata and Harbor data values. There are a few settings that need to be changed at a minimum. First, we'll define a hostname that will be used to access Harbor. We'll define admin password and we'll update the storage class to match our storage policy. So let's go ahead and install these. As Harbor has a dependency on Contour, we'll start with that first. In the vSphere client, add a new service and upload the Contour YAML manifest to register the service with vCenter. Service details will be automatically populated into the window. Once the service is registered with vCenter, we can install it on our supervisor. We will paste the content of the data values manifest into the service config window to configure the service. A new service namespace will be created for the supervisor service. Supervisor services utilize vSphere pods for deployments. We can click into the namespace and go to compute to see that all pods have been deployed and are running. Next, we need to go to network and services to get the external IP of the load balancer provided by Envoy. This IP will be later used to access Harbor, so we will add it to our DNS system. We will now repeat the process to deploy Harbor. Again, we will register it with vCenter first, and then install it on our supervisor. Here we will paste our updated configuration. After a few minutes, we can go into Harbor service namespace to observe the status. Once all deployments are available, we can access Harbor from our browser using the URL we defined in the data values YAML manifest and the IP we added to DNS. We will log in using the admin password we defined. First thing we want to do is to grab the registry certificate, which we will need later. And while we're here, let's create a new project called 3TA and we'll keep it private. We will use image package from the Carvel toolset to manipulate our images. First, we're going to download our application images from a public repository to a local tar file. Now we need to create a CA cert for Harbor, so we'll paste in the certificate we downloaded earlier. As this is the first time we're connecting to our new Harbor instance, we'll run Docker login, and now we're ready to push our images to the 3TA project. If we look back into the Harbor UI, we'll see the two images uploaded and we'll use this in the next episode. That's it for this episode. We'll see you in the next one very soon.